Today I want to show you one really nice piece of software for color correction and color grading your images or video. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Today I want to show you 3D LUT Creator. It's really nice piece of software for creating 3D LUTs for your images or your videos. You can export 3D LUTs from uh, this software and import it into Photoshop or Adobe Premiere or DaVinci or any other piece of software that are dealing with 3D LUTs and color correction and color grading. So what the 3D LUTs are? Basically, that's a preset for color grading or color correction. That's the shorter version. If you want to know a little bit more about 3D LUTs and how to make them in Photoshop, you have my tutorial right here and check that. Right, now I want to show you uh, how this program works and this is just a short review, it's not a tutorial. If you want to know a little bit more in depth how this software uh, works, you have a link down there in the description that will lead you to 3D LUT Creator's website and you have beautiful tutorials uh, on their website that will show you more in depth how to work with this software. So let's jump straight into uh, this piece of software and let me show you a few things. Alright guys, this is the interface of the 3D LUT Creator Pro version and the creator of this software is Oleg Sharonov and uh, you can download the trial version if you want, you have a link down there in the description and you will have all options except you cannot save or export the 3D LUT for further use but you can play with tons of options here and if you are uh, satisfied with the software you can buy the full Pro version of it. Alright guys, today I will show you just a few uh, basic stuff because this software has tons of options and I, I cannot cover everything and this is just a short review of that. Alright, and uh, first thing what I like to do is to import a photo here. I can import photo in two ways basically. I can draw, drag and drop the photo right here or I can go uh, here click image from Photoshop and it will automatically uh, import the image that is currently open in Photoshop. It's this one and when I press image for Photoshop it will go and grab that photo and it's right here. Right on the left side we have uh, first option it's channels then volume then A, B, uh, C, L, curves, 2D curves and we have masks and a lot of options here. Uh, I will go to the A, B settings and on the upper right corner you have a lot of different color spaces like LAB, uh, CMYK that you're familiar with from Photoshop, then you have RGBW, then you have uh, the default one when you open the software it's AH, AHSPE and so on and so on. If you go to CMYK you will see a different representation of the color spectrum here. If you go to LAB you have another representation and different spectrum, uh, different uh, color space doing different to uh, the image depends what you want to do with the colors. All right, we have this square grid or we can go to the circular grid. We have a different uh, number of grid points. For example, we have four or eight or I like maybe 16 here or maybe 12 depends of the image and the thing you like to do here. And in this, this first example I want to show you how you can really easily change the color of the grass, how you can go and change this greenish part of the grass into this uh, more yellowish, right? And if you see I'm moving the mouse on the right side of the screen and on the left side of this uh, spectrum uh, circle you or grid you have representation of the color where I am I moving the mouse. So I want to move this green and you can see green is right here and maybe let me see maybe on the left side here. So if I go here and click I will mark this point here and if I move this point to the right see how that color is changing. We can undo that if we want. I can put the 16 uh, points right here and then let me see this one if I move it to the right if I move it all the way down it will desaturate all the way up it, it will saturate then I can go and use this one and move it like so and you can see I can saturate it even more and you can see how beautifully it uh, converts that green into that uh, uh, yellowish tone. If I press and hold shift and move mouse up and down I can brighten 
or darken those uh, points, those colors that I'm selected. So that's really handy option. Let's brighten them a little bit. And this is nice. Let me show you before and after, before and after. Really, really easy just by moving, moving those points on the circle. So that's one example how you can use. You can, of course, change the color maybe of uh, this uh, uh, mountain or hill here. And it's this blue one. Maybe you want to desaturate it, move it towards the center, or you want to saturate it more, make it more purple or more greenish. Or depends of the situation. You can play with that. Or the sky, maybe sky is more neutral. Neutral. And this center point here, it's a neutral color. And if you move that, you can uh, basically change the white balance. Maybe a little bit more warmer, or you can do more cool. But I like maybe more warmer. You can make the image darker and so on and so on and you have down below classical white balance uh, sliders and brightness contrast and so on and so on you can play with that and see what uh, this does to an image right now let's go to photoshop and let's load the next image and it's this one now i will go to 3d lab creator and say Im image from ps and it will automatically grab that image and load here and in this example, let's reset all of this. I want to show you how we can really, really easily uh, transform this image to orange and teal look. So that's really nice. Let's go to the channels right here and let's play with this. I want this red to be a little bit more here than yellow towards the blue and it will make red more orange. And then I want to change the blue color maybe something like towards the cyan and we have something like orange and teal look from this image and let me show you before and after before and after and now if you want to export this 3d lot to photoshop and play uh, in photoshop with uh, some other uh, things with the image you can do that really easily just go here and press lot to ps and it will automatically export and create 3D LUT adjustment layer and it will add here as non-destructive layer into Photoshop and that's really really great option guys right and if you want to create this same effect in Photoshop you can do that but it's a little bit harder you can duplicate this let's duplicate with Ctrl Command J and uh, background layer and you can go maybe to hue and saturation and uh, you cannot achieve that right here. You can uh, go to separate colors and play with that and try that. And it's really, really not that easy. The easiest way is to go to camera row, go to filter, camera row filter. And then you can, I will show you really quickly. You can go to the this uh, camera calibration tab. And you want to red towards the orange. You want to desaturate the greens and more like so and you want to blue towards cyan and saturate them and this is not hmm, not so good but it's quite uh, similar and if i press ok i will show you the result this is from uh, 3d lab creator this is from photoshop and as you can see if i zoom here look the color of those leaves this is photoshop and this is 3d lab creator see how beautiful 3d lab creator create uh, colorize or color correct this and for example look at the head this is and and these uh, windows and doors see photoshop 3d lot creator photoshop 3d lot creator and those leaves behind this is photoshop this is 3d lot creator it's a better transition uh, from one color to another and i really really like that all right let me show you another example uh, let's I don't know let's let's use this one maybe and let's import this image into 3d lot creator like so and reset all of this all right if we didn't reset it we will have uh, that same uh, orange and teal look for this image and let me show you before and after before and after it's really nice suit uh, uh, nice uh, uh, for for this kind of uh, photo I really like it before and after before and after and you can save that as a preset and apply later again so let's reset this because i don't like uh, this now for this example and let's go to curves and what's 
great with the curves uh, here you can just play with the curves like you would normally do in photoshop maybe add some contrast and so on and so on or you can go to saturation luminance curve or saturation saturation or luminance saturation let's just do one of them so saturation luminance curve that means that this one uh, will represent saturations and this one will be classical luminance curve so what does the, this first curves uh, curve does so uh, if you move up this part where the highlights are you will saturate the highlights even more as you can see here where the highlights are if you move it up you will saturate the highlights see or her face here and so on if you move the shadows down you will desaturate the shadows or if you move it up you will saturate this, saturate the shadows and you can really play with that and achieve a lot of great results you can maybe desaturate the highlights and saturate the shadows if you want this kind of look or you can desaturate both the shadows and highlights and maybe just go and saturate the midtones if you like something like so and maybe add some contrast and let me show before and after before and after really nice and subtle result so that's one way how you can use that now you have a saturation saturation curves and luminance saturation curves you can experiment with that too really guys tons of options and so as the final example let me show you one really nice uh, trick for uh, matching the colors for example uh, you want you have where it is you have this photo and you want to apply this kind of look like uh, a look from your favorite movie or I don't know anything any photo that you like you want to apply that kind of color correction to your uh, current image and with the 3d lot creator you can really easy and uh, really fast match those things so let's go back to this photo and open it in 3d lot creator right and here is the photo now let's go back to the photoshop and find uh, this uh, photo that we like to uh, match with uh, our original one and copy it control command control command a and control command c to copy it all right and now let's go to back to 3d lot creator and go to edit and paste image as reference right and i will paste image as a reference and with uh, equal uh, on a keyboard equal uh, key you can move between those two with the reference and the original one and how to match those colors well it's really easy now when we have original uh, here uh, active now we will go to edit and auto match color to reference and when we click that we will have another dialog box here it's column uh, color match dialog and it will automatically match the colors and you can play here with a lot of different color spaces if you want let me see uh, lab or cmyk it's a different result maybe we want this cmyk here or let's bring back the default one and then you can play with uh, matching tab here and uh, maybe add a little bit more hue or remove some hue add a little bit more saturation and then you have luminance if you want you can add more luminance uh, actually you, you are not adding the luminance you're matching the luminance from the reference photo to the original photo actually when this is all the way to 100 percent then it will try to match luminance from this photo to this photo and of course you need to find the sweet spot for for your uh, image and here this is uh, if you want to degrade the reference image and uh, you will have then a little bit uh, different result and so on and so on let's uh, bring it back and here you have few uh, curve degrade methods and curves degrade methods and you can experiment with uh, them let's use mean max average and let's see uh, what is the result yeah it's similar you know with with this one maybe if we use some other yeah they're they're similar but for um, every image you can play with that we have white balance we can change that too if we want and maybe this a little bit warmer look and so on and so on. let me just add a little bit more hue and press ok and now we can compare click here compare and this is before and this is after before and after and you can see here 
this is really nice. We almost match the color from our uh, movie uh, still photo. So if you want to uh, play a little bit more with that, you can always go and tweak some settings or export this photo into Photoshop like so just create uh, say lots to Photoshop and it will not to this image actually you need to go and select your image like so and then say a lot to Photoshop and it will apply this as a 3d lot before and after before and after and it's really really nice I love uh, this color matching all right guys this was just a short preview of tons of possibilities that 3d lot creators uh, can do and if you are interested in using or trying uh, this piece of software, you can go to their website, download the trial version and check their easy to follow tutorials and you will see a lot of other possibilities that you can do with this piece of software to uh, create 3D LUTs for your photos or your video files to color grade them, to color correct them. It's really nice and fun software to use. Right? If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. See you in the next fun episode. Bye-bye.